Hello guys, my name is Alessia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we're continue watching The Big Bang Theory season 6. So what happened in the previous episode is that guys tried to all move in together. Amy tried to move in with Sheldon and Leonard tried to move in with Penny. But obviously Penny wasn't ready so it was a big deal. But same as Sheldon, he was like, what the hell is going on? I'm not ready for that. <laughs> but he tried to blame Penny of course because he didn't want to tell that to Amy and maybe break her heart a little bit <laughs> and yeah at the end the truth came out and everybody was angry and upset but hopefully they resolved the issue because in the next episode you know they all been all happy together <laughs> and then also there was a situation uh during the valentine's day when penny noticed that that was her ex-boyfriend and she kept talking about him and it wasn't really nice to be honest i felt a bit like you penny what are you doing so yeah that was a bit awkward so yeah i'm super excited to see what's gonna happen today so less talking guys let's get started so then i went to cambridge which was wonderful oh yeah Not only because he also met the school, girl totally the like comic book and now i'm an astrophysicist at caltech so i guess you could say uh, raj is my name and stars are my game <laughs> <laughs> and rhyming is also my game. <laughs> I think so, it's the first uh, time he's talking about his job, game. like how he became. Uh, anyway, that, that's enough about me. I want to hear everything about you. <gasps> Why are you want to go know to the about the girl? I go to the bathroom too. <laughs> oh, maybe she's like. This is going great. What the hell? <laughs> Can I have a refill on my chai tea? I have a good feeling about this. <gasps> oh no! I should have bought condoms. <laughs> Yes! Cooper. Oh my god, guys. I'm Welcome obsessed to Presents, with... Fun with flags. Fun with flags. I call myself a number one fan. Because I would watch this, this show forever. I did shoot one last week in honor of Black History Month. But I was informed by my roommate that my spot-on portrayal of George Washington Carver could be considered wildly racist. <laughs> oh no. Fun with flags is not just for the flag aficionado. Uh, it's also for the flag novice. So to help me with that, please welcome my friend, neighbor, and flag virgin, yet not a real virgin. <laughs> is it Penny? Penny. I bet your view's just gonna Hello. go up. <laughs> I understand you would like to learn more about flags. Yeah, I can't tell you how many times I've been at a party where everyone's talking about flags and I just couldn't join in. Yeah. Well, you came to the right place. Uh, I'm sorry, can we just pause for a minute? What's wrong? Oh, I there is no it Amy. Look more natural if you talk to me instead of the camera. You know, like, you probably like a real gave conversation, up on the Amy. <laughs> something we work on in my acting class. A few people in the comment section have said that my delivery is robotic. I find it cute. Perhaps that isn't the compliment it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, let's try it again. And maybe this time you could work on your body language a bit. Hunched like that, you're shutting the audience out. But when you're... <laughs> Welcome alive, to you're my program. <laughs> right. Fun with flags. And which like one that? do I want? <laughs> Our friend the flags taught me anything. It's to go where the wind takes you. <laughs> as long as you remain firmly attached to a rigid pole. And action. <laughs> He's like so relaxed. Go with the flow, go with the wind. So, Penny, what sort of flag questions keep you awake at night? <laughs> well, I'm from Nebraska, so what can you tell me about the state flag? Gosh, Penny. <laughs> What'd you have for breakfast? A big glass of good question juice? The Nebraska state flag is simply the state seal on a field of blue. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Spread your legs, invite them in. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how you get the views. I'm telling you, something's wrong. I can always feel it when Raj is in trouble. Jeez, how close were you guys before we got married? Don't look under that rock. <laughs> Let's Raj, keep it okay? as a secret. You because I stopped going to work and answering my phone, you think something bad happened? <laughs> Maybe something good happened. Uh, Did something good not happen? Really. Of course not. Nothing good ever happened. <laughs> oh. Whoa. What? He's looking that rough. Is, it smells pretty ripe in here. You kind of feel it in your eyes. Raj, what's going on? Humiliated by yet another woman. I took off her coffee and she snuck out the bathroom window to get away from me. Come on, you gotta shake it off. Oh, you can't stay in your apartment for the rest of your life. With online shopping and overnight delivery, I can get anything I want. <laughs> Look, 
I just ordered a case of Dinty Maw beef stew and two live lobsters on Amazon. <laughs> well, I'll be. Look, you can throw in a couple steaks and have a surf and turf. Come on, we came here to help hey, Raj. We're trying to get him out of here, not you yeah. in. <laughs> exactly. Wasting your time. Please, leave me alone. Now what? I don't know. Go to Red Lobster and talk about it. <laughs> We're all thinking it. I just had the decency to wait for him to leave. Hello, Sheldon. Ooh. Hello. Is at work? How's the final stage of your nicotine addiction study going? Fine. Yeah. Just hold on. Marty's on the phone! <laughs> Good news. Uh, the latest episode of Fun with Flags is online. Oh, that's right. How'd it go with Penny? Much better than I expected. She even gave me some helpful tips about acting and body language. Watch, welcome to my world. <laughs> Not welcome to my world. What a Subtle difference. Subtle but powerful. Yeah, yeah I know. can feel I'm it. I'm still learning to control it. Did you tell Penny how helpful she was? Why would I do that? Because she helped because you. Because she's your friend and she did a nice job. I'm sure she'd like to hear it. All right. <laughs> I didn't Boy. mean now, hello? Deal with it. <laughs> We're all struggling. Oh, hi. What's up? Um. <laughs> you mean to shut the door so you can do your knocking thing? Yeah, thank you. Or he's gonna be no, broken. I... So what do you need? Well, I was thinking about you helping me out last night, Penny. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he just can't I let just it go. I wanted to tell you. It's gonna bother him, Penny. That the answer to the question who did a great job is you, Penny. <laughs> really? Yes. You were very natural in front of the camera. And I found your suggestions extremely helpful. Oh, sweetie, you just made my day. Aw. OK. Uh, <laughs> hey, my acting class is putting on a play Friday night. I could put you and Amy on the guest list. Oh, that sounds terrible. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> so much for your advice on complimenting Penny. She tried to rope us into going to her acting class to see a play. Uh, don't worry. Luckily, I had the good sense to drown that kitten in the river. <laughs> Sheldon, that's very rude. She helped you with your show. The right thing to do is reciprocate by going to see her play. Yeah. Oh, then so many friends. crazy rules. <laughs> Oh, God. That battery tootsie rolls you're throwing at me! <laughs> How Penny, much is getting paid for Penny. it? <laughs> what? Amy pointed out to me that since you did something nice for me, I'm obligated to do something nice for you. Yes, I'll go to your dopey play. <laughs> hey, I don't want you to go anymore. You should go because you want to go, not because you have to. D oh, dear Lord, more rules. Where does it stop? <laughs> Can I want to go? Because I have to want to go? Do whatever you want. Yeah, but no, wait. Do whatever I want. Or whatever I have to want. <laughs> so complicated. For God's sake, just come to the play. I don't want to, but at least that makes sense. Come on, you always have to support your brand. It's just decided he's never leaving his apartment again. Oh, brilliant. I've been itching to pull that trigger. <laughs> he's upset waiting for that moment. Because he can't get anywhere with women. Would it help if I gave him some pointers? I'm just funning you. <laughs> <laughs> Where is his bazinga? I don't know if you remember me, but I was here the other night at your party. Oh, yeah, you left with Raj. You're the one? Okay, let me tell you something. That guy you blew off happens to be my best friend. Can you just give him this? Okay. Ooh, secret but message. I gotta warn you, Raj is a proud passionate man. If you go running out on him again, you're only gonna get like three or four more chances before you are history. <laughs> this is good news. You should celebrate. I don't want to celebrate. Oh my god. That's a scary Even picture. A little... Why would I want a number? I don't want anything to do with this woman. Oh, come on, Raj. No, you don't get it. I want nothing to do with any woman. My heart is stone. <laughs> From now on, I, I'm a monk. I renounce all worldly pleasures. Except for lobster. <laughs> and garlic But the good thing she came back, right? Maybe she there is a reason why she left. Or at least she can give you some You're feedback on what's going help, on. Right? Oh, wait. Take her number. I don't want the temptation. Okay. I must be strong so I don't stray from my true purpose. The study of the universe. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> They're gonna think so it's like Amy, a crazy neighbor. What's going on with your... <laughs> Sadly, I'm no longer associated with that project. Why? What happened? Typical bureaucratic nonsense. You can get animals addicted to a harmful substance, you can dissect their brains, but you throw their own feces back at them and suddenly you're unprofessional. <laughs> what? All right, let's get this stupid play over with. And the PSP. <sighs> now the Game Boy. Oh, for Pete's sake. Can we go now? Oh, is that all of it? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute. It's like it the down. last source <laughs> of enjoyment. It's about streetcars. Oh, great. And I won't need this. <laughs> just a sec. Imagine she would oh, do the shoulder this thing. Is just a sec. I hate myself. Hi. Uh, would you like to come in? Oh, no, I can't stay. I just wanted to say I'm sorry for running out of the coffee shop. Wait. Can you at least tell me what went wrong? It's okay, I can take anything. Unless it's something I did or said or am, because those are like my buttons. <laughs> no, it, it's not any of that. I kind of have a hard time around people I don't know. Then what were you doing at the comic book store that night? I've been trying to force myself into situations that I'm not comfortable with. I saw the flyer in the store window and I made myself go in. I don't even like comic books. <laughs> yeah, me neither. So what were you doing there? I lied. I love them. <laughs> Maybe it was meant to be. I said that to you. I'm broken too. Oh, no, you're not. Well, I totally am. If it wasn't for this beer, I couldn't even talk to you right now. I'm a wreck. There are many things seriously wrong with me. <laughs> Maybe don't not quirks either. Tell like, all of them. I think it will make her go away. <laughs> How do I know you're not just saying that? Go out with me on one date, and I promise you, you'll see. That I'm crazy. Text me. Bye. Uh. You won't regret it. I'm the most pathetic guy you've ever met. <laughs> and that, boys and girls, is how it's done. Yes. Ooh. I think you have great capacity for devotion. You'll be lonely when she passes on, won't you? Pretty good, huh? I love she someone is. too. The but love when did they get to the part about streetcars? <laughs> when I was 16 years old, I made the discovery. Love. Mm, she's she's I really good. Much, much too completely. But I was unlucky. Unlucky. <laughs> she's remarkable. She really is. My apologies. <laughs> Ruining a really good play. Lines? But as a waitress, she can't remember no tomato on my hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she's not interested to be a waitress. That's why she can't remember. Wow, that was really good. Good for you, Penny. Yeah, well, it's in our contract to serve on a university committee, and frankly, this is one I believe in. Okay, here we go. Encouraging more women to pursue a career in the sciences. Come on, if I was any good at convincing women to do stuff, I wouldn't have spent so much of my 20s in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask me, this whole thing is a waste of our time. Helping women? Yeah, helping anyone. <laughs> People Why should take would care you of themselves. Sheldon? Please don't make this a school project where I'm the smart kid doing all the work while the slackers sit back and watch. Yeah, we're not. This time you're the smart kid doing all the work while the even smarter kids sit back and watch. <laughs> Guys, our topic is encouraging women in science. Can you at least play a less sexist game? <laughs> well, my character wields a battle axe as well as any man. <laughs> Sheldon, you're always saying how much smarter you are than me. Spend five seconds and come up with one idea on how to get more women into science. And he's just gonna smash it now. All your ideas address the issue at a university level. By then it's too late. You need to design an outreach program that targets girls at the middle school level and sets them on an academic track towards the hard sciences. That's actually good. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> That's honest, why he's the smartest one. I wonder if there's a way we could give the idea a trial run. Maybe I could call my old middle school, see if we can talk to some of the female students. Yeah, that's great. Try to set up something for the three of us to go over there. Not sure I know how to spark the interest of school children. Better Google it. What exactly are you looking up? How do I get 12-year-old girls excited? No! Oh! <laughs> Sheldon never Thanks Google again that. For letting me crash girls' night. Are you kidding? You brought fancy wine and made fondue? I've slept with guys for less. <laughs> it's a joke. 
Based on real events. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we anyway, thought. Anyway, I was hoping I could uh, pick your brains a little. I'm supposed to take Lucy out Friday, and I need a killer first date. Well, evolutionary biology says that women are attracted to a man who's steady in the face of danger, so I recommend an unsafe environment. That's what she's supposed to be said. <laughs> she's scared of uncomfortable situations. <laughs> need something um, Lucy relaxed. Lucy has some uh, social anxiety issues. Yeah. Maybe we could start with something simpler. Why don't you take it to Disneyland? Yeah, but you just have to remember that ride is shorter than you think, and they take a picture of you at the end, so make sure you got all your clothes back on. It's a joke! Based on real events. Based on real events. <laughs> I haven't been to Disneyland since I was a kid. We should definitely go one weekend. Weekends are too crowded. So blow off work, go on a weekday. I've never played hooky in my life. My mom said that's how girls end up addicted to reefer and jazz music. <laughs> Girls you are adults the now. Hotel, we can the do what year old guy named Luther. What do you say? This Friday we ditch work and go to Disneyland? I'm in. Me too. Although we're trying to solve my problem. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> trying to help Raj and we to making our plans. I'm a man who can't talk to women, trying to figure out how to go on a romantic date with a girl who suffers from such crippling social anxiety she can't be around other people. Yeah, that's a toughie. Are you doing just Disney or California Adventure 2? <laughs> it's nice of your old school to let us try out our science talk on some female students. Oh, well, they're actually pretty nice excited alum. and their most famous alum. If you don't this count the serial it. killer who ate all those prostitutes. He's gonna be bragging about this his must feel pretty trip good to for space. You coming back. Last time I was here, I was just a scrawny little nerd. <laughs> and now you're also an astronaut. <laughs> That's so many true. memories. I mean, how many times in these hallways was I tripped Punched and spit on. <laughs> I have a master's in engineering, and I still can't figure out how Scott Kopensky got me and my briefcase to fit in there. Wow, you are smaller. I can't believe I ditched work for Disneyland. What did you tell your boss? Oh, I was very clever. I did it in stages. At 7 last night, I called about a problem at the lab and casually mentioned I was going out for seafood. At 11.30, I called and said I was throwing up like a fire hose. <laughs> at 12.45, I called and made nothing but dry heaving sounds. <laughs> and now I'm going to Disneyland! Penny, what did you say? Oh, that's the life. I work at the Cheesecake Factory. I said bye. So what are we going to do first? I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to make a beeline for the place that gives you a princess makeover. Oh, that sounds like fun. You're kidding, right? We're not just gonna get drunk and go on rides? All right, whatever. How does it work? Okay, so you pick your princess, Sleeping Beauty, Snow White, Cinderella. They give you hair, makeup, the works. Oh, I want to be Cinderella too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can't all be Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> then how do we decide? This was my idea. I'm driving. I'm Cinderella. You bitches got a problem with that? We could stop the car right now. No problems. <laughs> it's all yours. Be honest, I want to be Elsa. I love Elsa. You can do better. <laughs> and people should be like, shh. It's like classic oh, what they do. We're eating here? We're having a texting date? I love that. Aww. As you're reading, it will help you remember I have an adorable accent. <laughs> okay, who's ready for some science? Oh, wow, no. <laughs> Take all my money, Me I'm too. happy to see this. And we are going to show you girls how cool a job in science can be. How cool, you ask? Well, how about negative 273 degrees? Because that's the temperature at which entropy reaches its minimum value. Did I just learn something new and have fun doing it? What? <laughs> How's this possible? Welcome to oh, science. Right. So now let's bring out theoretical physicist, Dr. Sheldon Cooper. Woo! <laughs> Hello, female children. <laughs> Allow me to inspire you with a story about a great female scientist co-discoverer of radioactivity. She was a hero of science until her hair fell out, her vomit and stool became filled with blood, Ugh, they don't and have she to was know poisoned that. to death by her own discovery. <laughs> Are we done? Can we go? <laughs> the thing to remember is you can go to outer oh God, space, my too. neighbor is playing music again. <laughs> I'm sorry if you can hear I that. I went to this very school. Those desks you're sitting in? 
I was once super glued to one of them. Lennon is like supportive that? mother. No, but on, I did go up. to the International Space Station. Did you fly the rocket? I was in the rocket. I didn't actually. So you just flew around? It's kind of like my uncle. He's a flight attendant. You can't oh, win with those kids, I'm an ever. Hero. Boy, we are learning a lot here. Uh, thank you. Yeah, ooh, what Howard. a day. How did you decide to become a scientist? Oh, excellent question. Um, I suppose I've always been into science. My mother and father are scientists, so I was kind of led in that direction. To be honest with you guys, when I was your age, I wanted to be a rap star. <laughs> <laughs> After I confided, I was derided and chided. My mom oh, said I collided. No. She said my dreams were misguided. Here is the mama too. <laughs> That's just a little freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Web design. Cool. Anything I might have seen? I don't know. You ever look at porn websites? <laughs> I did not expect this answer. <laughs> no, never. What is porn? <laughs> Sorry, autocorrect. That was supposed to say prom websites. Oh, God. <laughs> I really thought that she's doing some nasty stuff. Fun. I love prom. The romance, the gowns. It's like a fairy tale come to life. Sorry, autocorrect. That was supposed to say, I like sports. <laughs> Come on, just be yourself. If you like it, you like it. Pull the fire alarm. Let's get out of here. <laughs> uh, There's no again. escape from this yeah. situation. While I was listening to my colleagues waste your time, it occurred to me that it might be much more meaningful to hear about women in science from actual women in science. Thank you for taking time out of your very busy schedule to enlighten these young women. It's our pleasure. <laughs> I'm Dr. Fowler, That's and amazing. I'm a neuroscientist. The world of science needs more women, but from a young age, we girls are encouraged to care more about the way we look than about the power of our minds. <laughs> That's, That's true. Amazing. Every one of you has the capacity to be anything you want to be. Unless you want to be Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> Come at me, see what happens. I wouldn't fight Bernadette. She's hella scary. I'm just gonna talk. Thanks for today. But it was also really nice. So, thanks. And, um, I'm gonna go. I could do one more scary thing before I go and give you a kiss goodbye. <gasps> you know, if that's okay. Come oh. on. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Panic attack, maybe next time. Oh, you poor thing. Was that close? I'm counting that, that as full, please. <laughs> of course. You have fun today? Yes, and I have a surprise for you. Please be Cinderella, please be Cinderella. <laughs> well, hello, Prince Charming. <gasps> <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, what is going on? I didn't want to see that. <laughs> hey, how was your, what? <laughs> I can explain, I played hooky with the girls, then we all went to Disneyland and got, what are you doing? Disneyland, go on and listen. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Sheldon, all Snow White needs is one little kiss to wake up. Heard you the first time. <laughs> I'm too busy. <laughs> wow, guys, these episodes were so funny. My favorite was girls going to Disneyland. Ah, oh, that's like perfect representation of adults once again. It's like we're kids, but with adult money. Like they ditched the work, they lied at work because they wanted to go to Disneyland. It's like the best thing ever so they dressed up as characters from the cartoons because no one can say no we can dress however we want we can be whoever we want and they also gave a good speech for young girls who might be into science sometime in the future it's so nice and just to see them you know giving the speech through the phone and they represented them like oh my god yeah this is the scientist brilliant scientist and the girls just chilling at disneyland oh, such a good i really like that moment so much so yeah oh god really enjoyed this episode so 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 much <laughs> it's 
So yeah, that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and share it with your friends. And don't forget to stay kind to everyone and spread love. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!